Hello, I'm Lotto Netflix and welcome to my Crusader Kings 2 playthrough as the Duchy of Silesia. Um, last time we just declared war for Satch. I claimed the war against the Prince Bishop, well, Princess of Borjavoy Satch. And I'm now at war with him, so let's just try and mosey on downwards to attack him. Ugh, I'm going to chase his army down. I get the Satch on the 5th of October, he'll get to Krakow on the 1st of October. Ugh. Which means I have to chase him down. I, um... Yep, yeah, chase him down now. I get to Krakow on the 9th, he gets a Satch on the 15th. Okay. The war, I'm going to slow it down because it's my first war, well, no, it's not my first war, it's my second war. <laughs> Don't you just slow it down, I'm already showing you what war is like. I didn't actually give any commanders to my army, which is a bit awkward, but I had three times I had three times as many troops. So I won the Battle of Tarnulf. And then, I can go to Satch, yay! And siege down Satch. I'm 75% war score just from killing that one army. Luckily. The holding is a church holding, which means it's weak as hell. That's 504 um, garrison. Well, for, yes, three four three nine three garrison, but that's 11 to levy, but founded for defending siege troops. And this would be a very quick victory. The Count of Koyava is dead. I'm going to have a look at that when the auto saves finished. And see. It's not doing that weird Windows buggy thing, which is nice. But now the new Count Pishkla of Koyava. Um, who has a couple of few of your heirs and everything's dandy. Has a few siblings, sorry. Which is married to Countess Anna. But then the Satch army is Satchian army is trying to Siege of Silesia, and he doesn't have the troops to do that. He needs 582, and he does not have that. So I've practically sieged down Shurishik. That's a lot of consonants in that word. And I've got 100% more score. So I'm going to pause it, offer peace, enforce demands, and I've usurped the title of County of Satch. Unfortunately, I'm going to actually deal with him later. Unfortunately, it's the wrong holding type. Which means I am a pre, I am a duke ruling a, a church, hold it, temple holding. I need to have the bounty of Novi Satch. I need I uh, can't revoke his title, even if I wanted to, it'd be painful, but I can't because the laws aren't high enough. So I'm going to have to rule a temple holding for a while. It's fine. I have to go to Satch. Satch. Yeah. I'll wait for it to be proceeding, but I own Satch, so I'm going to disband my army to stop the rest of the levy. Yeah. I'm going to have to... Because I can't really... I need to create a new holding, ideally, and make that the capital. But I need 659 cash to do that, and I don't have that. But so, I uh, don't really know what to do. But anyway, I need to... I now have three, now I have three, I have three holders anyway. I can move this guy to somewhere a bit far, more fun. I don't know what to do with him. What can he do? Make him dip into diplomatic relations or so dissent or just fabricate a claim. And I might just. 
I've already got a claim on Yap Viagi. And I wonder if I should make a claim on a we have a weak guy like Zemitia. No, because that doesn't border Poland, it'd be a bit painful. Because um, bordering provinces tend to have nice supply routes and that they're not border and it's pagan and they have terrible supplies. Don't want to go to Podlasia because it's part of a quite a big high chiefdom. I'm going to like Gare because I know that he is independent. Because he's um, yet, yet, he's, he's yet, he's yet Vingia's um, ally. But I might just improve my diplomatic relations with my king just for now, just so I can gather my thoughts. Really, I want a lot of money. So I'm getting 3.55 gold a month. Which is a fair amount, but it'll take me a long while to get to 500 odd. So I need to find ways to get more money. Generally, stewardship focus would be useful, but I'm still in war, and when I'm, I'll leave, move to a stewardship based focus probably. So now I just wait for my son Yashjek to get old enough um, to. Just do stuff, just so I can do stuff with my kids, so I can get my kids married off. But now I have more power in my kingdom, I'm going to go to the realm tree. Yeah, I'm the most powerful vassal. Followed by Duke Beshprim, Beshprim of Greater Poland, and then the Duke Janko Kuyavi as old children. So I'm the I'm a key vassal. And the key vessel. So, yeah, twenty five percent of my of my realm troops, and it'll increase a lot once Satch is a bit less displeased with my rule because it has um, because it has no troops because I am the wrong holder. Yeah, I need to, I really need to sort it out. I could donate 200 coal to my liege, but that's... I don't want to because I need money. So... Wait a few years so I can get changed to a business focus, perhaps. And then I can... Move Mojion over to... Um, getting some more cash so I can build a holy in satch. It's a bit of an awkward thing. I, f I don't know how to make um, the barony the ch chief capital. Um, um, in the county, and now the king of Poland has declared the Polish came a Gdansk war on King Sviatobor of Pomerania so it's claimed a war for a county because I don't really know as a strong claim of County Gdansk I think did put Poland never owned Gdansk um yeah let's check the laws so he's doing the Institute the Ruler Imprisonment Sovereignty Law oh it's down here no, it's not. It's here. So, he wants the ruler to imprison, uh, have a fourth time to imprison, and don't need a don't need a council vote, which gives him more power. And I don't know how I'm going to support it because. I don't know if I should. I'm pragmatist. Do I want? I should really decline because I really want the <laughs> really want the council to have power. Sorry, I want this rule here. Yeah. Everyone seems to be going for it apart from me. But rumour has it is that your son Yachek has been influenced by his guardian splendor. It is said that Yachek is now considering considered prop considered properly Basque. And that's amazing. Because I could see if I could try and get um, my 
county is sort of my country, my ge- that ge- is Basque culture. Not sure how culture works, but I don't think that uh, there might be a way to convert. I can convert to Polish, because that's my lead co- That's my count. I don't think it'd be difficult to actually. Um, so the king is proposing that my son um, is being guardianed under his son. And I rather decline because I want to. I want to. Um, so I want. I want to educate my son, but I don't want him to lose his Basqueness. So I'm going to just have my wife do it because she is Basque, and she's got good stats. So I'm actually doing quite well on the money front. Pomerania has six thousand, five, three thousand troops. We have six thousand troops, so we should win the war. We seem to be sieging each other's holdings, or they seem to be sieging each other's holdings. So my child lacks an education focus. Nigeria. Um, what should I pick? So she's got some stewardship stats, and she's willful, indolent. And fussing, so I could benefit. So indolence not very good for stewardshipness. Playful and fussy do well, and she is fussing for intrigue. Rowdy and willful, she's willful. Do military. I go intrigue. It's good to have a nice intrigue spy master. I might try and look for a wife for her. A wife, a husband for her. Because um, she's sort of four more years, and she'll have a she'll be eligible to marry. So let's see if we can arrange a betrothal. So I can betrothal with lots of old men, but I really want to look inside Poland. Don't really want to do Poland inside because um, actually. Because he's the heir of Duchy of Poland, he's the heir of Duchy of Matsovia. So I could totally. He's already betrothed, <laughs> Dad. He's heir to the county of Apola and he's heir to the county of Cheshine. See, because he has Gavokai, all the King of Poland's territories are split when he dies. So he's very poorly managed in the succession. But I don't really want to. If I ally with the Dutch Duke of Dutch, oh, it's be five. So I ally with the Duke of Duke of Greater Poland. <coughs> um. Now the thing is, it's going to be a patrilineal marriage, so all the children will become um, of Duke Bertram's house, House Poray. Unfortunately, I only have one child. I only have one son. And if he di- if he dies, she becomes my heir. And that means things go horribly wrong. So like, do I wait until I'm older? I might wait until I'm older. So my lead, my mission to Krakow has so far been a success. During my visit to the count to the count, to the court of King Bolshev, the Bold. I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler what you really are, and he sends his regards. So basically I get an opinion boost on my liege. Handy if I need something from him. But I'm gonna wait. Because <coughs> he's a genius. That's amazing. She's nothing. She's an heiress. Why is she an heiress? Oh. Because as a half says sibling, because the Countess of Kuyava was the wife of the Dutch Duke of Greater Poland. <coughs> oh, weird. If I can get an alliance with 
Greater Poland. Then, <coughs> oh, I can get alliance with Greater Poland and be able to get him into wars. He will be so useful. We have our own, we have a little army that will challenge the might of Poland itself, but easy about to deal with um, the forces of the pagans in the north. So, so if I want to wait, maybe try and get another son. She's she's getting a bit old now. Hopefully, maybe she. Oh, at the very least, to get my son to mature and get him have a chance of being a, of getting less chance of dying, sort of thing. So if he dies suddenly, I need to matrimonially marry her off and rule as her when I die. So we're with seventy percent winning this war against. <clears throat> Pomerania chasing down this stack is going to Domin from Cheshun and I'm saying about Cheshun, don't know why but are they at war? yes, Denmark are at war with Pomerania over Holstein for Pomerania the visitor you have received a visitor, a monk from the famous great abbey at Cluny. He tells you that the monks there spent much of their days in devoted prayer, and that they always mention the names of the most pious Christians in those prayers. If you would demonstrate your immense piety by donating a large sum of gold to Cluny Abbey, you would be surely amongst those present in the monks' prayers. I don't really want to lose money, so I'm sure they'll manage anyway. The prior festage in Pandy would have been nice, but I really can't afford to lose the money because I need money to build a holy and set to convert it so I can have a barony and actually get troops from it. So sorry, but. So now Poland is besieging. And Pajnan. And then trying to get trying to kill this stack. We're just trying to save Gdansk. <coughs> We've been raided. Plotch has been raided by Yatvingia. I want to declare war soon, but I quite can't. Can because you've got a new ruler. But they have a lot of troops. A lot of troops. 2.2 thousand troops, but I have only 1,570 troops. So we won the war. Um, the King of Poland has taken. Gdansk. It has come to my attention that the Chancellor Volhynia, Mayor Trifon of Kobrin, has bribed and threatened his way through my domain, trying to get enough people to recognize and claim my title that is fabricated for his lead, Grand Prince Stanislav of Volhynia. They better not use it, but um, Grand Prince Stanislav is. Yeah, Stanislav Boroslav has decided to go ahead and use a claim on my title despite having nothing more than a laughable and obviously fabricated document to back it up. So, most likely, the Grand Duke of Ruthenia, the, sorry, the Grand Prince of Olenia, God, getting my content is confused, um, is due to fabricate claim on most likely Satch, because that borders him. Yes, um, he owns um, Brulezzi and then in there for Vladimir Vlonishki. So, 
financially. So by virtue of him, he, he has now a claim for stature, and he, but he cannot declare. What is that? Is this Vlij could declare for him, and Rathena is much bigger power. <laughs> oh God, the Poland. Um. So, do, dear Duke Vlost of Silesia, I hereby invite you to the grand feast in Chesk. Your presence at the feast will be greatly appreciated, and I look forward to your attendance. So, um, because well, um, I don't really like him that much, but I'm going to travel at the feast anyway. That's why he has so many troops. He's 25 marshal. When he dies, and his nine marshal son takes over, Poland will be a bit more ripe for the picking, which would be awkward since Ruthenia now has a claim on my land. So, King Borislav II greeted to, warmly to his feast. Wine was served, and the most delicious aromas came from the kitchen. It's just a great feast um, in, um, decision, entry decision. I had a great feast. And fight all vassals. Um, it's 1088, so this is the year I can change my war to business focus. And I'll see when in 1098 that will be possible where my auto save is finished. So, 9th of August. Of course, it's August again. <coughs> King Boleslav's second feast is over, and it's time to begin the long way home. After the food, the entertainment and the warmth, the real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. Not that far, it's from there to there. Yeah, it was held in Chesk. So I get extra reinforcements. My wife is pregnant, yay! I hope it's a son. I really hope it's a son. I actually don't really hope it's a son, because that means I have to change my succession law sort of sharpish to relics of the monarchy. I might do that anyway. Soon. So King Borja of the Vol has formed an alliance with Queen Maria of Croatia. How big is Croatia in the game? Usually Croatia is rather small, but it's not bad at this stage in time. King Borja was formed an alliance with King Salomon the Lionheart. The King of Hungary, that's useful. I think we war with Valachia, but that's a Hungarian war. Hungary is war with Valachia now because I'm allied, I'm now part of their war. So let's just hand it against Ruthenia. And now two, he has two countries that are allied with him. So, what's my plan? What's the Cardinal of Cluny? He is the one that's trying to buy money from me, I think, or try and get money from me. What was I going to do? Oh yes, Russell's have a negative opinion of me. Yeah, the Baron of Novi Satch. And the Mayor of Gorlich. Gorlicha. And the Mayor of Zimigrod all angry with me, so I can't change his accession law. I need to get him on my council. Who else do I need on my council? Well, I can get here on my council. But the mayor of Galicia, I can't. Without getting rid of my wife as a spy master. Or doing some weird switchy with men at work. I may have to. Well, I'm going to train troops. I'm going to reset the military tech. I'm not at war, so I can try and boost up my possible warness in the upper Silesia. But, um, I grant RNA title to him. Whatever vessel. The grant IRA title Cutbearer The Mayor Zimigrod Um Grant uh, what IRA title Master of the Hunt So now that the Mayor the 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 the, 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 the Mayor of Zimigrod now hates me more 
So I need to go to business focus, because if I get trader, the cities will like me better. Why do you like me? My heirs are my heirs are like a reform culture, which they do not like. I'm also craving an arbitrary. I need to MVS. I also haven't ruled him for that over him for that long because I have a short reign. So that that's something which will change. My arbitrariness is good, I really need to get rid of arbitrariness. I really need to get business focus. Hopefully that I think that might have a decision to get rid of arbitrary. I need to start doing some of these things as well. Like hold a summer fair. Something like that. Something in which I can try and get some decisions, some sort of event chains to sort out my intrigue. But sort of, I'll get to changing my focus to business, and then that's probably the end of the video. So I'm pushing on 26 minutes. So, hopefully, next time I'll be able to try and get my faster to like me so that I can. Um, um, institute elective monarchy succession because I don't know what my child and my wife is going to produce. But so now uh, I've seen my thing, so it sounds like it's an adequate place to end. So now they like me better. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for next time.